Hi! In this demo, you will learn what is DLT DBT generator and how to use it. So, if you're using DLT to load your data, then DLT automatically extracts the schema of the data. This means that DLT has a lot of information about your data already. The schema, the data types, the column names, the tables, also the relationship between children and parent tables. We wanted to leverage all this information to help you build dbt models faster. So that is why we created dbt generator. What it does? First of all, it automatically inspects the schema of DLT pipeline and generates a baseline dbt project. So it generates the staging models, the basic dimensional models, and also it creates all the necessary YAML files with the description of your tables. Second of all, dbt generator lets you define the relationship between tables. For example, if you have a table of customers and orders, you can tell DLT that these tables are related uh, between each other via some IDs. Then dbt generator uses this information to create fact tables. Also, uh, the dbt generator automatically generates the script, the Python script, which you can use to materialize your table with dbt. Also, you don't need to specify any credentials. DLT will just take it from the DLT pipeline. And dbt generator creates dbt models, which are able to process data incrementally. So if you load your data incrementally with DLT, then you transform your data incrementally with dbt. So let's see some code. So here I have the DLT pipeline, which loads the data from SQL table to file system. In general, you're able to use dbt generator with any DLT pipeline. But to show you more interesting case than just one SQL table, I will actually use dbt generator not on this DLT pipeline, but with metadata pipeline. So first of all, as I said, I'm loading the data from SQL table to file system. But then I'm creating another pipeline called metadata pipeline. I'm taking the metadata or traces from the previous pipeline and load them to the Snowflake. So here, here you can see my DLT pipeline, which is called Pipeline Metadata, and destination is a snowflake. This part we skip for now, I will explain it here later. Then I just run Metadata Pipeline with the traces. Okay, this is just regular DLT, let's run it. Don't forget to put your credentials and configurations inside DLT folder in sources or configuration TOML file. You can also use environment variables or customize your um, configuration provider. Okay, here we can see first DLT um, loaded data from SQL table to file system. This was the first pipeline. And then I used metadata from the first pipeline and load them to Snowflake. Let's investigate them. It says that um, destination is a snowflake and um, data loaded into dataset metadata dbt. Let's move to snowflake. Okay, here we can see the metadata dbt schema and inside a bunch of tables with traces. Here you can see all the information about um, the previous DLT pipeline. Um, for example, you can see the timings. Uh, when it started, when it's finished, you can see the information about the extract step, about normalize step, and about load step. Now let's generate a dbt package for this pipeline. In order to do this, I will just go to the CLI and use dlt dbt generator with the name of the pipeline. Let's review what was the name. The name was Pipeline Metadata. Okay, let's just use it. What happened here is dbt generator created special dbt folder with all the dbt project scaffolding. You can see the dbt project YAML file with the description, and you also can see the models, staging and marts. Inside staging models, it's just a basic staging tables uh, with select statements, uh, selecting all the um, columns from loaded tables. Apart from staging tables, it also contains some um, simple dimensional tables. Because DLT knows about 
parent-child relationship, it also creating the joints for you. Apart from all these dimensional aesthetic tables, what we have is load IDs, active load IDs and protest load IDs. This information uh, DBT will then use to protest data incrementally. So if you load data incrementally with DLT, you're then able to materialize the tables incrementally with DBT as well. Here you also have the sources YAML file with a description of all the tables and columns. But let's say I want to create a fact table. Let's go back to the Snowflake. Here, all the information is kind of distributed between different tables, and I want to have one table with information about my load. For example, I want to consolidate information from um, normalized job info, which has um, items count column, which says how many items in each file. And I want to join this with um, information from loads tab, where, for example, for file system destination, I can see the remote URL. How would I do it with dbt generator? So if we go back to our SQL database pipeline, I also used here the table reference adapter, which I imported from dbt generator. What I have in this adapter? I set up the um, relationship between two tables. I said that table um, normalized info job metrics relates to load info job metrics through job ID columns. As you can see, you can use both capitalized and small letters to specify the table name. So after you, I use this table reference adapter, DLT knows that these two tables are related. So we can um, generate the fact table. Again, I use DLT to generator, the name of the pipeline. Then I wrote fact and the name of the table I want to generate. Now in March directory, we have a fact table. Inside this fact table, DLT used information about relationship we just specified with table adapter and also information about parents and children tables. It used it to create multiple joints now a lot of things are commented out, but we want to uncomment it if we want. For example, as I said, I want to remote URL be present in my new fact table. Let's also uncomment something else, like for example, um, started that and finished that. I want this information to be part of my new table as well. I won't uncomment any other things, let's leave it as it is. Okay, so now we have a lot of staging tables, a lot of dimensional tables, even one fact table. Um, how we can materialize all this table in my destination? When we run dbt generator, it also generated the pipeline script, which actually runs dbt core using a um, special DLT wrapper. What it does, it takes all the information and environment and context from DLT, including the credentials, and then run um, your dbt project on top. It will create the same dataset name, but with slugged transformed. So in order to run it, we just run it as usual Python script. Okay, now something happening. And let's go to Snowflake and see. So because we had the dataset called metadata dbt, now we have to see the dataset called metadata dbt transformed. Let's look for it. Okay, now it's here. So what is it had inside is a lot of tables which we created with dbt generator and also our fact table. Let's review it. So I wanted to have items count in the same table as file paths. So this is how you can use dbt generator to generate scaffolding for your dbt project, to generate staging tables, fact tables, and to materialize your tables incrementally in the destination.